All right, so I am back to my list of ideas I came up with for new balloon twisting designs. In the last video, if you didn't watch it yet, you might want to check it out because we came up with something really cool. Um, I was brainstorming Valentine's Day ideas, but what we came up with was not exactly Valentine's themed, but that's okay because then you can use it all year. We're going to, I really like this gnome idea because I like the little guy I came up with for St. Patrick's Day and I have not done anything with that concept, that design style since, but I really like the quirky idea. I really like the peas in a pod. I like the idea of coming up with a brand new cute frog, mushrooms that I haven't taught before. So for today, what do y'all think I should do? Peas in a pod I think would be super cute for Valentine's Day. You can even put a little bow on one of them. Let me see if I have lime green rounds though because that would kind of be a requirement. Okay, so I do have dark green 260s and I've got the uh, lime green five inch round. All right, so um, trying to visualize. Do, do, I wonder if anyone's done this before. I don't know, I'm sure somebody has. All right, so I'm gonna do a little ball. Okay, two peas. Now we need the pod. All right, I want them to kind of have a little stem at the top. Maybe like that. And then maybe like a little, a couple of little loops for some foliage. <laughs> okay. So then to see what this will be like, I'm gonna have this coming around there. It's cute, right? Hey, whoop. how should I do the bottom? I wanna do loops again, but not the exact same as on the top. Okay. Now we just want to fill in the back of our pod. And I don't know if I need one up the back yet. I might need one more. I just want to fill it in so there's not a lot of holes. But we'll see after I squeeze my little five inch rounds back in here. <gasps> it's too cute. Okay, I do, I do kind of want a green just going up the back to cover up the nozzles. All right, I got stuck. <laughs> Let me explain. I think it's really cute, but I don't love that it just is kind of like a gappy cage for your balls. <laughs> that didn't sound right. I don't love, I don't love, I would like it to be more like this, where all the 260s are tight together with no spaces in between. And maybe I'm just being picky, but Think. But what if we do just this little tie on the sides of our pea? Does that ruin it? What could those be? It'd be like little arms. <laughs> no. A belt. I don't hate it. What if one has a bow and the other one has a bow tie? Maybe if we make it super duper cute, no one will pay attention to the belt. <laughs> Ooh, these are old. That's cute. All right, I'll leave a little stick. Now I can secure that at the bottom of the pod. I 
it's not gonna flip around. Cute. It needs to have a little raisin on it so I can attach this. Could I? Hang on. I've got this. And we can just position that sort of sideways, off centered. dots or raisins needed. That is the best. Okay, now I'm gonna mess it up with the eyes. <laughs> How do you draw pea eyes for pea pods? All right, that's kind of what I was envisioning. Something super simple, a little line for a mouth, but sometimes they'll do the eyes farther apart. You see if I can find another. Oh, here's a cute example. That's kind of what I was going for. Okay. That's cute. All right, so the eyes and the mouth are kind of all on the same line. And then they did cute little pink cheeks underneath the black of the eye. I'm going to try that. Cheek marks. The black is going on top of them. Just nice round circles. Cute. And then the little mouth. I'm gonna give the girl just a couple of straight eyelashes. It's so cute. All right, whites for the eyes. Look at that. <laughs> I like it. Why haven't I made this before? This is so cute. <laughs> what do you guys think? I really like this. Some changes I can think of making would be, I would add a third loop up here. So three loops up at the top by the stem. You could do the stem in brown if you wanted to, but uh, that's, personal preference. I like everything else and I don't think that this little band that holds the pod together, I don't think that it ruins it. I don't know. What do you guys think? I mean, obviously it would be better if it wasn't there, but with the bows and the cute faces, like your eye is not just drawn to that band as much. I like it. The only thing I'm questioning now is if the little boy one needs like a little swirl of hair on top or something. I don't know. What do you think? Does that make it better? I feel like design wise, he needs a hair right there. But what do you guys think? I think this is cute. Uh, we'll see if Metallic approves of this. And if they do, um, it will be going, the full tutorial for this will be on their YouTube channel. So make sure to check that out. If you want to learn how to make these cute little peas in a pod, a uh, perfect little Valentine's day gift for a couple. All right. Thank you guys. Uh, my mood again has lifted from playing around with some balloons. So, um, if you need a little pick me up or a little mood boost for yourself, Go get your balloons out, come up with something new, share your picture in our Facebook group and um, you can boost more than one person's mood maybe. So if you like this and it made you a little bit happier today as well, um, make sure to just leave a thumbs up so I know that I am not the only one <laughs> who found joy in playing with some balloons today. Thank you guys for hanging out with me and I'll see you in the next one. I've got this whole list of ideas that I will probably be working through a few more of these. Um, Cause again, we need more Valentine's day stuff cause that's coming up. So um, this was fun. I'm going to do this more often. And uh, I didn't even put on makeup for this, which has always been a very limiting factor for me on whether or not I film is because I'm usually not camera ready. I don't get all made up every single day. And it's like, well, I can't make any videos until I put on makeup and all the things. But I just decided today I wasn't going to let that hold me back anymore. <laughs> so uh, this is the more natural looking Holly. Um, but, you know, if this helps me get out more videos and uh, do the content 
that I need to be doing more often, then so be it. Y'all can just look at this face. <laughs> Uh, this is what you'll probably see me looking like if you ever met me out at like a grocery store or something anyway. So this is real. <laughs> All right. Thank you guys for hanging out with my uh, creative process today. Thanks for helping me lift my mood. And this was fun. So I'll be back again and we'll work on some more things on the list. All right. Another one I got on the first try. Go watch Taco Cat if you haven't. That was fun to figure out and full tutorials should be posted and when i figure out where they're going to be posted we'll add links to these all right thanks everyone see you later